Welcome back freshwater fishing novices. My name is Moles. This is the Freshwater Fishing Novice YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to try to do a catch and cook. So I'm going to try to catch rock bass because they're invasive and we can just pull them out. So I'm going to try to catch some big rock bass. So let's see if I can actually go catch something. Bring it home, cook it up on the grill. Stick around. Let's see if I can make this happen. Am I low enough to clear this? I guess is my head low enough to clear this is the question. I think it is. I could probably touch it if I put my hand up. I could definitely touch it. I'm going to touch it. I touched it. And we're through the dangerous bridge. This current is crazy. Might as well start with the atomic tube. Well, that is the smallest leader I've ever seen. There is no way. Look at this. Jeez. Where'd he come from, huh? Ah, he ain't even that bad. What's up, buddy? You wanna get eaten? You're not kinda of, you're not fat enough, dude. Pretty nuts. And I have another fish on, I just put okay. That's out of control. The atomic tube strikes again. I'm not even trying. Somehow I'm catching perch. Okay. All right, dude. I'm just going to leave this in the boat. Yellow perch. He's just a little guy. What are you doing, dude? Come on. Let's go. can't eat that. What am I supposed to do with this? I can't eat this. So we got a nice yellow perch. Look how punk rock. Oh, he's so cool. He's such a cool fish. Yellow perch. So aggressive. Bloop. Bye bye, buddy. I have a feeling I might be uh, not eating. What do we got? Oh, I got something. Hello. Can we, oh, what is this? Oh, that's a good size rock bass. Should we keep this guy? Should we hold on to that dude? I don't know, he's not very big. He's a good size. Okay, he's upset. All right, well. Let's see if we can find his big brother. A wicked smart dude because I knew it. There we go. What's going on here? Oh, come on. It's really. Well, I appreciate the love. I mean, this is a gorgeous fish. I know, buddy. I know. All right. Here we go. So typically, because it's from from land, I fish over on that rickety old dock, but I kind of want to check out more of this little creek. Locked in something. What do we got? Oh, I got a rock bass. There we go. Oh, he's 
not a bad sized fish. You just, there's not much meat on them. How many of these? Oh my God. How many of these? Oh God. There goes a lure in my face. How many of these jokers am I going to have to catch to eat? I mean, I should probably start keeping some of them, right? Okay, and I'll just get it through the tree. It's perfect. Oh, yeah. Get it. Get it. Get it. Why not? Why not? Why not? Just get it. Get it. I got it out. Okay. No, there you have it. Little Mr. Barky up there. Something's pecking at it, come on. No, just grab it. That was some grass. Well good, people are using horns. Got something. Oh, he's a giant. I'm not even gonna turn the front camera on. I got you. Little yellow perch. You're looking good, dude. This is gonna be the west, the west, the worst catch and cook ever. There's something. Not much. Oh, come on. Really, just all teeny stuff. What am I gonna do with you? Huh? What am I gonna do with you? Give back that hook. I want the lure back. It's the yellow perch. Oh, he's a little banged up looking. Oh yeah, he's got worked over. All right, buddy, you need, you need to stay away from trouble. I don't think I'm in the optimal position to be casting this. No. What? You gotta be sh Okay. On record, the smallest catch. <clears throat> Freshwater fishing novices, that is a pickerel. The teeniest chain pickerel ever. It's, what is this little dude doing? What's he thinking? Oh, I got another one. What's this? Oh! This is a yellow perch. He ain't big. Definitely not big enough to keep. But big. Oh, okay. Big enough to bite. Let's, let's get him unhooked because I'm sure that sucks. yellow perch. Sorry little buddy. What do I got? What do I got? Oh, oh no. Got a rock bass. Since there's no limit, 
Might as well keep them, right? Let's try again. Come on. What we got? Oh, Mr. Sunfish, huh? Got something. Is it a keeper? Is it a rock bass? I don't know. It looks more like a perch to me. Is it a bass? What is it? Oh my god. Is it a creek chub? It's a creek chub. Oh, Mr. Burpee. Oh, Mr. Burpee had some burps. He burp, 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 burp. Hey! He always burped and he burped and he burped. He burped and he burped and he burped. Come on, give me that. Oh! Oh, Mr. Big Minnow's gone. Atomic tube. What do I got? The littlest yellow perch ever. I do not need a sardine. Listen, buddy. Oh, see you later. What we got? Oh, the littlest sunfish. Nope. Oh, he's gone. Another sunfish. Okay, these sunfish need to cut it out. Let's see if there's any more sunfish down here. I'm definitely tugged it. What do we got? Oh, something good. We talking about rock bass? Okay. He's mad because he's dinner. Mr. Rock Bass to this body of water by only pulling two rock bass out. What is this? Is it another rock bass? Oh, it is. Looks like that, that's part of dinner. Sorry, dude. You're screwed. How about this lake? Go eat me some dinner. What do we got? What do we got? Little sunfish? Oh, he's teeny. Little wiener. Oh, he even got a mouth. The smallest mouth. Look how cool that little dude looks, though.
bass candy. Bloop. Right now I'm searching for more rock bass. Going on to the main lake. Another rock bass on the board. He ain't big, but he's invasive, so we're going to get him out of here. Rock bass. Someone is eating the night. And it ain't these guys. Crawfee? What are you talking about? Rock come on, rock bass. That's what I want. What we got? What we got? Is it a rock bass? Oh, another rock bass for the fryer. Got another rock bass for the oil. Rock bass. Man, I am gonna eat some meat. More meat for the grill. It is. Oh, another rock bass for the oil. Sorry, buddy. Got to be something in there, right? Oh, rock bass are everywhere. Come on. When they're there, they're everywhere. Is this one of them? Oh, that's a meaty one. That's a good chunk. Good for the oil. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Looks like you're ready for the frying pan, too. Ready for the oil? Ready to get filleted. There's no way. Oh, my God. I can't. What am I going to do with this guy? Eat him whole? Nope. Oh, there we go. There we go. More meat for the plate. That's it right there. He's not a bad one. He's not huge, but the guy driving that boat next to me definitely was. Doing some light construction. What do we got? What do we got? Another rock bass? Oh, it is. 
and the fish for the frying pan. Last time you guys are gonna see him alive, I wanna eat him, herd. I don't know where I'm at, but I'm probably good for the, uh, Oh, two days of protein at least, really? How you doing, bud? Trying to catch some, uh... Oh, is it? it bass? No, trying to get the uh, rock bass out of here. But what are they doing? They just... Eat them. Oh, yeah? I mean... The size limit you can take or no? They're everywhere and they're invasive, so... Here we go. Oh, what do we got? Oh, Mr. Rock. Oh, more for the frying pan. Sorry, dude. That's a dinner. That's a dinner right there. Frying pan for sure. All right, freshwater fishing novices. I hope you guys like watching me catch a whole bunch of rock bass, some sunfish, mainly pumpkin seed. And of course I bumbled through that on the video. <laughs> some yellow perch. And I believe that was, oh, and that creek chub. So I've come home and I've filleted all those rock bass to a flour mix, to egg wash, to flour mix, double batter style. You can obviously see I'm outside my house. The grill's right here. I'm gonna go get the fish ready, and I'll meet you back out here, and we'll change angles. Okay, freshwater fishing novices, what we have here, egg wash, flour mix, dry pan. What do we need to add? Just our rock bass fillets. So, you might be saying, why is he wearing gloves? Because your fingers get all mucked up doing this. So we go dry. In the flour, we go to the egg. Back to flour. Coat it good. This is going to give it a good breading because we're frying that and then we just go right in there I'm gonna do it for all of this and I'll meet you guys back after I finish filling up that whole tray I got my fillets all battered up maybe I should show you those ta-da I'm gonna add some oil to my cast iron pan okay maybe a metric ton of oil I'm on medium to high heat the oil is starting to make noise and do stuff. So let's do a tester piece. Nope. Eh, maybe. Not 100% on this piece working out. All right, so I put that piece in a little bit early. Okay, so you can see I got some more pieces in there. It's really sizzling up. It's getting there. Okay, freshwater fishing novices, I had just finished frying up all that fish. Catching those fish was easy. Filleting the fish was kind of a pain in the butt because it's so small. Scaling the fish was a nightmare. I had to do that outside. There's scales absolutely everywhere on my walkway. Sorry, Dennis. Deep frying was a pain in the butt. But after doing all that, and three dollars worth of ingredients as far as fry oil flour what else did i use eggs then i used some water salt and pepper i got a big old pile of fried fish i almost said chicken fried chicken it's not fried chicken it's fried fish it does look like fried chicken though and it like a chicken wing well the next guy so i was going to eat i was going to eat the fish in front of you guys but i think eating in front of people just watching someone eat is gross, so no. 
I'm going to try it, and then I'll come back and be like, hey, that was good. Or, I just choked on a bone and I'm dead. I also made some homemade tartar sauce. So let's show you what this fish looks like. So, nice white flaky. I am going to put it in my mouth, and then I'm going to cut. All right, freshwater fish and novices. So I tried both, like, this darker piece. It was a little bit overcooked. So I wanted to compare it to a, a lighter piece. And the lighter piece was definitely better. I overcooked a couple pieces there. But it wasn't bad. What's the fish like? White, flaky. Be careful when you're filleting it because the bones are so small. I'm trying not to swallow these super sharp needle-like uh, bones. But I'm pretty sure I got most of them. I was pretty careful with it. So if you guys like watching me catch these rock bass, not fillet them up, but cook them up and then eat them, but not show you me eating them because gross, you can always hit that like button. Let me know that you liked it. If you didn't like it, you should probably leave me a comment so I know not to do that again. You can always hit that subscribe button, make the button turn gray. Doesn't cost you anything, helps my channel out. If you wanna unsubscribe later, it's okay by me. My name is Moles, thanks for watching this week. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll catch you next Friday.